Welcome to the start of my absolutely longest project ever. It is currently the beginning of September and I have just received my pattern and my materials to start working on a darkling kafta. The idea is simple. Make this coat and completely cover it in hand embroidery. Am I absolutely mad? Yes. Am I still not entirely certain if I'm actually going to make this entire project? Yes. Are we going to get started on it anyway? Also yes. Because this project will take rather long, I also want to take the time to do it perfectly. So, to make sure the patterns can be traced nicely, I start by ironing the crinkled pattern paper with an iron on low heat. Then we can get to tracing the patterns. No idea what makes this paper different, but it was rather difficult to see the lines, so I used my tracing tablet. I finished tracing and cutting out the first two pattern pieces, which are, well, half of the body. I specifically chose these pieces to cut out first because now I can determine how wide I want the embroidery to be and just start on the embroidery here while I slowly start cutting out all the other pattern pieces. To determine how wide the embroidery needs to be here I made it easy for myself and just printed out the embroidery that I want on multiple different sizes. I have to thank Amazonian Cos for making these templates, um, these are fully hers. So I've got one of the sizes out that I think will fit here. Also looking at the reference images, it runs from center front and then stops just before this seam. Unfortunately, the piece that I cut out and the pattern pieces that I cut out are mirrored, but I still think I can see with this that also in the right angle, I think this is a nice piece to start with. And then once I've embroidered this, and I've got the code somewhat done. I can start checking where I want it because of course there will be smaller ones here and they will flare out bigger to the top. So I'm going to embroider all of these separately and then once I've done them I'm going to attach them to the code. So that means that with this we can start cutting this out of felt and start the mammoth task of the actual embroidery. I decided to cut the pattern up into different pieces. As the embroidery bit will be made with smooth and rough black and silver embroidery wires. This way it will be easier to see what needs to be done in which type of embroidery wire. After that we can cut each individual bit from felt and put some bridal organza in an embroidery hoop so the fabric is taut and easy to embroider. Then each felt piece is attached on the organza and embroidered over with the metal threads. This is what a nearly complete individual embroidery pattern looks like. While we are working on the giant task of embroidery, we can also start with the mock-up. The bodice pieces are cut from a stiffer cotton. The darts are put in on the front and back panels. The side front is sewn to the front and the side back to the back. After this, the front can be laid over the back and the side and shoulder seams are stitched together. Then the sleeves can be closed up and inserted into the bodice. There we go, one mock-up finished. I'm currently fitting it over a vest and a t-shirt, aka multiple layers, because when it's a kefta, it will of course have to be worn over multiple layers as well. And I mean, well, the basic pattern is of course a winter coat, so fitting it over multiple layers makes sense. All in all, I'm super happy with it. I think it fits really well. I mean. I've got space everywhere. I can move my arms around without it being constricting anywhere. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I don't think I needed to make more for this mock-up because these are all the relevant fitting parts. The rest just flares out at the bottom. But in general, I'm happy with the pattern itself as well. I think seams like these fit me pretty well. So yeah, I guess that's it for the mock-up, which means that we can start on the actual code and the years long process of the embroidery. Sometimes you just have to admit that you bit off more than you can chew. It is currently November, I am three months into this project. I finished the mock-up and I finished nearly one of the embroidery designs. I've been embroidering for one and a half months now. I have to make 30 plus, maybe 40 of those embroidery designs. Do a short calculation and this would be a five or six year project. Knowing myself, I am not going to enjoy this project for that long. So, 
Now having finished the mock-up and the next step having to be cutting the actual fabric, I decided that this was the moment that if I wanted to quit it, this is the moment I had to quit it. So I am not going to make an entire hand embroidered darkling kafta. It's just too much for one person. I am not going to enjoy this for too long, especially considering that the embroidery is very, very repetitive work. I am not a person that suited for very, very repetitive work for a very long period of time. And considering my to-do list is quite long, I think there are more projects that I'm going to enjoy more than this one. However, that does not mean that the work I've done so far is going to waste. Because I am in love with this pattern, and making a winter coat for myself has been on my wanting to-do list for quite a while already. So that's going to be this, just making a winter coat for daily wear. And who knows? I might actually put some hints and nudges to Shadow and Bone in there. Which basically means that I'm going to go back to the original idea I had when I was watching Shadow and Bone. Those keftas. Making a winter jacket inspired by those would be really cool. Except that somehow, at the end of the series, my brain had turned that into let's make an entire Darkling cosplay, which frankly is just too much work for one person. Stubborn me, admitted defeat, I am not going to do that. So that means that I'm going to have a good hard think now on what I want to do with this exactly. For example, what color I want to make the coat. And once I know that and I continue crafting, of course, I'll give you guys another update. I hope you enjoyed watching this. It was slightly different than usual. But thank you all for watching and see you guys next time.